What's up, Texas wrestling fans? Welcome to Wrestling After Dark's Indie Spotlight and our special episode today. I am your host, the hashtag certified Mark J. Williams, here with my co-host, as always. The voice of Texas wrestling fans, Kyle Smith. It's not, it's not dark, though. I know it's not After it's Dark. Not dark. That's the theme of the general show. So, but today, bright, today, it's today a is a... It's Friday! <laughs> <laughs> but uh, today... We are actually having a special episode in which we are having the up-and-coming rising star, Jet Black, all the way from Houston. I think you're, uh, you're an ROW graduate. Actually, oh. uh, I, I'm from, I come here from San Antonio. Oh, okay. um, My training did not come from Texas at all. I oh. actually come from New England. Uh, See, this is what happens when you get half the information. It's okay. <laughs> hey, that's why I'm here. That's exactly why I'm here. <laughs> So, uh, I come from a school in New England. It's called the New England, New England Pro, Wrestling. Pro Wrestling. Yeah, Brian Fury. Exactly. My boy He knows. was in Maine for I lived in Maine yeah. for a year, so. What? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Wait, what years did you, what years did you live there? Oh, God, what was that? 20, 2014, 2015? Ooh, okay, okay. It was right when Limitless started. I was at, yeah. the, I was at their second show. No way. So, yeah. Okay, so I've only been on one of their shows. But yeah. I, I got uh, it's, to. It's a clip that's gone viral, I believe. God, oh, man. <laughs> Uh, it might have, but not that. That wasn't the one. Oh, that, that wasn't that, at Limitless. No, that wasn't at Limitless. That oh, was okay. at their. Uh, so they, Limitless is the parent show of, right. of uh, a show called Let's, Let's Wrestle. Wrestle. Yeah. yeah, so that's nice. where it happened. Oh, okay. <sighs> Good times. <laughs> <laughs> but you're coming up from San Antonio. That's my hometown. Oh no way. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. All right. Well, that's uh, Vance Jackson. Civic area. No, yeah. but I still know where that is. Actually, it's definitely on the opposite side of town that I'm on. Though. Yeah, well, I'm like five, ten minutes away from Sea World. Oh, yeah, dang, cool. that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Nice part. But actually, you uh, getting your training in New England and everything like that. Actually, that makes this a whole lot more interesting than original because now we get to ask, what was that like? Mm-hmm. Because that is a completely alien and foreign uh, place for us. Definitely. Definitely different. So, so here's here's the main thing. Uh, I take a lot of pride in in where I come from as far as my training, mm-hmm. mainly because of how intense it was. Like, MPX is actually really like I'm glad that MPX has has Athena mm-hmm. because she has that same like mentality that my old trainers used to have, where everything was just intense. Like, if you want this, you got to go after it, kind of thing. Uh, and didn't allow us any time to slack on anything. We didn't really have much like open ring time. It was lots of drills, 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 and drills. Um, and I and I absolutely loved it. So I couldn't have asked for a better school to come from. That school has produced the likes of Carmelo Hayes, uh, uh, Sasha Banks, Dijak, Ivar. Uh, I mean, it's kind of I, what, how do I say this? Basically, that same kind of. School stems from people like Triple H, China, mm-hmm. uh, 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 Kofi Kingston, yeah. which I used to get references all the time. Weird, right? Um, yeah, it's a very, it's very in the history of Killer Kowalski. Yes, who kind of started that training area in that uh, uh, East Coast and everything like that. Yeah, been mm-hmm. way back in the day, and then of course other schools came up. But yeah, New England Pro Wrestling Academy is by far one of the best ones because of yeah. The way they train and then the talent they produce and that comes out. Even talent that didn't necessarily start there, but like a you know or watch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, he's kind of getting out there a little bit now. Um, he's still very East Coast. Yeah. But he trained there a little bit and kind of got fine-tuned and stuff like that. And it's just they really are a good place for that. And also for you know ones that are just brand, brand new into it. So it's funny you mentioned JT Dunn. So nothing bad about him. No, yeah. dude's such a nice guy, man. Yeah, he is. Uh, I got to train under him and with him for a little bit. Uh, so that was cool when he actually nice. did come around. Yeah. But man, he was getting really big so mm-hmm. so so long ago when he got he got with uh, I don't know what caught Chris Hero's eye, but yeah, when those yeah, two were together, know. man, he was everywhere. And yeah. I'm like, wow. Yeah, JT Dunn, man. Oh yeah. man, I'm so surprised he's like not like heard of exactly you know what i mean i feel like he should be somewhere there is know? very few because obviously the east coast and texas very different styles For sure. like yeah. um when i was in maine there were select few i followed and just like fell in love with jt dunn was one of them 
Anthony Green. Was That's my on. boy. <laughs> yes, bro. Uh, That's I my loved, boy. I love the whole retrosexual thing he was doing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming out to heaven on earth. Just, oh, God. The atmosphere was great for him. And then yeah. Ace Romero was someone else Ace, who was be. good. And um, now he's like, he's losing a lot of weight and he's getting healthier. Dude. And dude, Ace is. Ace looks like he's going around. He didn't do a lot more wrestling that I've seen lately, but nice. seems like, man, once he actually gets that, boom. Nice. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, we have a question. Sorry. No. Right, so, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just going to comment on those guys. Um, yeah, do it. Yeah. Sorry. No, 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 no. AC Baby. Uh, love you, dog. Um, yeah, man. He's he's amazing. He's yeah. amazing talent. He got mm-hmm. signed and everything. He yep. was getting a lot of hype, man, and he's doing well for himself right now. I think so. Yeah. Like, I'm super happy about that guy. He's like okay. Honestly, <laughs> sorry. I know I talk a lot, but I'm just gonna That's... say I really just have to say Anthony Green is a uh, man. It was really hard for me and uh, when I was like kind of trying to come up in my training Mm -hmm. I just went through a lot of stuff having my first child going to school having to like kind of put wrestling aside for a bit or whatever I really lost a lot of faith in myself Anthony Green was like one of those guys that was like bro no you have it like as long as you want it you can get it like that's you right there like he would tell me like bro I believe in you and he only really because of him is the reason I probably still do this Mm -hmm. because without him trying to help me get places or even just be in my ear or anything like that, like, I don't think there would be a Jet Black at all, to be honest. He's nice. like one of the one of those guys for nice. me, for sure. That's awesome. Yeah. So we got a, a comment from Chris. He's asking, can you talk about how you first connected with MPX and why you keep coming back? Uh, first off, MPX, why I keep coming back. Let me just talk about that for a <laughs> second. I have fans like you guys. That's actually really cool. Um, but, uh, my first night there was, I mean, everywhere I go, I go to make an impression, right? Mm-hmm. But the response that I get is not, like, I, I expect it, but I don't <laughs> at the same time. Because, I mean, I believe in myself, and I do believe, like, I am pretty good. But when I, I feel others believe that I feel that uh, I am as good as I feel that yeah. I am, if that mm-hmm. makes sense. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, it's... Heaven on earth kind of thing. Like, I, I don't even know how to explain it. So um, the explosive reaction of the addicts kind of helped you uh, fall in love with it? Oh, man. Dude, just fans, period. Yeah. Honestly, like the addicts are amazing. Uh, just just fans overall. I don't care what promotion you are. Honestly, if you, if, if, if you love me, then I love you even more. Trust me. I will be back. Trust me. Um, now, how I got in contact with them, you know, it's actually really funny. Um, but I want to say kind of during COVID time, like 2020, um, I was wrestling for, uh, I was here in San Antonio. I just kind of got down here. Anthony Green actually connected me with a, a promotion called Heavy Metal Wrestling. Yep. Um, <clears throat> and I was wrestling there for a bit and I came across quite a few times with ACH. Amazing person, by the way. I don't. Yes. Amazing person. Um, he actually told me at one point that he was coming up here, and he said, "Hey, man, you should try to reach out to them at one point." Um, and I definitely did. Uh, <laughs> listen, this is just how it is, okay, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, promoters can be sometimes hard to get in contact uh-huh. with, so I reached out to to, to Richard Hill, um, and he's a busy guy. I'm more than sure he gets. It's an amazing. <laughs> promotion so i'm more than sure that he gets a ton of you know uh, messages a day just asking for people to come in um but out of nowhere i was like well this was years later honestly but out of nowhere i was just like man screw this let me just go up there i went up there uh i made myself known more or less and uh i talked to some people they said hey give me your information um and i i i give my information and Hey, when when are you available? Now, yesterday, yeah. Eight years ago. <laughs> whenever you want, like whatever it is, like I'm here. Yeah, um, yeah and the rest is history. Honestly, yeah. I just well, no, and it's great because we always I, because we're always at MPX. And we most of the time it's you see the same people. Yes, they bring us one talent here and there, yeah. but for the most part, they have it. <laughs> so it's one of those like, like, all right, someone new, cool. Let's see if they can make a name, and instantly. Like, you came in and just your entrance and everything. I was like, oh, this is going to be interesting. This should be cool. And uh, one of our friends that comes to the shows now, Mike, uh, who 
likes MPX but doesn't really follow or like watch wrestling religiously, just kind of is there because we're all there and stuff like that, hanging mm. out with friends. Instantly, you became his favorite. No way. Uh, it's, one, it's one of those, like, That's every time you're on the car, he's like, is he there? Is he there? You're like, yeah, he's here this week. <laughs> and he's, like, always trying to get there to see that match because he's just, it's your style, your entrance, mm-hmm. just everything about it. He just fell in love Dang, instantly. Man. And that's a lot of the addicts did. Like, this this year alone, like, there's you, there's Cavens, there's Demo. Like, there was something about it. As soon as they just came, mm-hmm. boom, people just fell in love. Yeah, I was going to make a comment. With, like, like, the debuts we've had this year yeah. is crazy. It's like, I was going to say, it's like, it doesn't look like the Rookie of the Year is going to be the most hotly contested uh, category in the MPX Fan Awards at the end of the year. <laughs> this year, it's definitely going to be the debut of the yeah. year. Because cool. between the three of y'all, y- you guys have, like really just changed a lot of uh-huh. people's perception on MPX like as it is now y'all are starting awesome. I, I feel starting to uh, help usher in a new era of MPX right. because y'all are younger talent y'all are you know s- stronger talent in a lot of ways hungrier hungrier yes. definitely hungrier. definitely hungrier talent so it's like I'm just looking forward to that one yeah. <laughs> it's super humbling hearing that uh, m- mainly just because like well to, to have Somebody want to come there specifically for me. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, I'm just another guy that loves <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm just here, man. I'm just doing Oh, man, we're letting the marks stuff. in the ring. <laughs> oh, Mark. Come on. Like, even the wrestlers, man. Like, So I've met quite a few people, right? So, like, for example, Tommaso Ciampa, Johnny Gargano. Mm. I, I was, like, such a fan of theirs. At one point, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I love you. Uh, <laughs> and they're like, bro, don't worry about it. You're good. Like, don't even think you're a mark because yeah. I am one too. Trust me. Like, we're all marks, dude. And it's yeah. super humbling to kind of have, like, just fans, like, be what I was to those guys. Right. <laughs> to me, it's, I don't know. It's, it's not even weird. It's just, I don't know. It's so cool. It's great to hear you say that too because there are there are some people out there who who do take that that division of the barricade so seriously that it's it's almost like you're drinking your own Kool-Aid at this point. Uh, <laughs> I can understand both sides. Yeah. Um, the whole kayfabe kind of thing, like, I, I get trying to, you know, save and, and kind of hold the business, right? Right. Um, or uphold the business, I guess. Uh, I get that aspect, but at the same time, bro, you, first off, I feel like you always have to remember where you started. You started mm-hmm. on the other side of that barricade, and you fell in love with this, uh-huh. in which case, this is this is exactly why you do that, right? So, me as somebody that also started, I hate, I absolutely, like, nowadays, I hate sitting on the sidelines. I hate watching, <laughs> like, if I'm at a show, I want to be a part of the show. Like, I hate being in the in the crowd because I'm just like bro that could be me and I could be doing exactly that hell I could possibly be doing better not not an ego thing just a confidence thing right. I mm-hmm. promise uh, it's just like yeah but like at the same time man yeah just I don't think that it's a bad thing to be able to interact with fans mm-hmm. and also like show them your appreciation for them because again without them you wouldn't even be there right. so they're paying your bills. Exactly. Yeah. And to, I guess, backtrack a little bit, and it kind of goes into what we're talking about now, uh, our first question, which we totally skipped past. Uh, how did you... We had a more interesting first question. <laughs> we did. We did. Uh, how did you fall in love with wrestling, and then okay. how did you get into the business? Okay, so how how did I fall in love with wrestling? It's so weird, because I have, like, a parallel story to Triple H, in a sense, because I read his book a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Um and I was like, dude, that's exactly what happened to me. <laughs> uh, so basically, I just remember distinctively like playing with toys with my siblings mm-hmm. or whatever. And then like wrestling was on. My dad sat down. Something happened on TV. And I looked up. Triple H. Oh, my God. He was, <laughs> he was right there with his long hair and all that. And I was just like, man, whatever, dude. Like, I, don't know what, I don't even know what toy this is. I just like dropped it. And then I sat on my dad's lap and I just watched it, laughed with him, just like, I got super in it, mm-hmm. into it, uh, I got super into it, and the rest was history, man. I was just like, man, I had, like, this is what I want to do. Oh. Anytime I was in school and we always got that question, like, what do you want to be when you grow up? I'm, I'm going to be a professional wrestler. <laughs> nice. I'm going to be a professional wrestler. I don't care what you say. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Nice. Um, 
to answer your question about how I actually got started, <laughs> it's kind of a weird, because, you know, it's funny, actually, kind of, that kind of is a great segue, uh, the whole, how, what do you want to be when you grow up? Because, like, when I, when I finished high school, uh, I, all I knew is that I wanted to be a professional wrestler. Right. Uh, you know, I mean, my dad was like, hell yeah, go for it. Mm. Uh, everybody else, I mean, like, my siblings were like, oh, that's cool, but have a backup plan. Right. And I, I really did not believe in backup plans. I'm like, dude, this is what I'm going to do. Um, but they kept talking about, like, oh, well, you got to go to school, you got to go to school. And I'm just like, but what if there were schools for professional wrestling, <laughs> right? So, so that's kind of, I started looking it up. Um, and, I mean, I was in Colorado Springs at the time because that's where I graduated. Uh, and I found a place. This is just, I just looked at the page and I saw somebody that kind of posts a lot and I kind of mm -hmm. put two and two kind of thinking that that was like the promoter right. it was just another wrestler honestly but they were able to kind of kind of get me in there right. so uh <laughs> i sent this long message about <laughs> how passionate i am how much i want this i said please sir let me in uh, <laughs> and uh he was like hey dude yeah uh not really the guy to talk to but um you can come this you know thursday or whatever right. it was uh and so i went there met a few people um What's his name? Pat Tanaka was there, so that oh, was wow. cool. Um, oh, dude, I was such a mark back then, too, because I was just like, I'm honored. <laughs> um, but, yeah, uh, so that that was like a thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I met a few people through there, and that place shut down relatively soon after I started because, mm -hmm. I guess, bills weren't getting paid and right. whatever with the owner. Don't know, don't care. <laughs> uh, so I had to find somewhere else. And then, so... I went to Denver. Um, it was just like 40 minutes away from Colorado Springs. And I found a place called Primo's Pro Wrestling. Uh, they were more... S Sorry, no. Uh, <laughs> made me think of Luigi Primo. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. I'm I just thought like, you were thinking I of thought, uh, Carlito's brother. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. No, no, no. I thought, I thought you had like an association with him. No. Okay. I was just like pre Luigi Primo having a school, just kind of, that's a humorous thought. Imagine that. <laughs> Pizza. In wrestling. Um, no, so, yeah. So their style was more deathmatch style. No. Um, and... Against them or anything like that, but what I watch is professional wrestling from like you know WWE. Mm -hmm. and, I mean nowadays it's a lot more than that. Right. So um, that is a style of wrestling that I would like to you know learn and stuff like that. So basically, after a while of being with them, I got to learn a little bit. But yeah, okay, not 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 shitting on the uh, not crapping on the place yeah. or anything. But um, you can swear. Okay, not shooting on the place or anything. <laughs> not shooting on the place or anything. Oh, it's three o'clock now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they—I mean—they taught me some stuff. Uh, yeah. So I—I I do appreciate them mm. for sure. Um, it's just again not the style that I wanted to kind of put myself. I didn't want to put myself in that genre. Right, that you don't sense. want it to be a niche and just like right. that's all you yeah, do. that's exactly right. Um, so I found. <laughs> that's crazy, right? Uh, so I found a, another school that's in Denver. Um, it was actually, uh, I forgot the name of the actual school. It's now called the Mercury or Mount, Mountain, Rocky Mountain Pro Wrestling Academy oh, okay. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but um, I don't even know what it was back then. I just know it was at uh, an all, uh, what's it, top team, American top team. Uh -huh. uh, Bobby Lashley used to yeah. kind of, I get. I don't know if he ran that place or if he just trained there, but he definitely he at the time when I went there, he was doing his MMA thing. So he yeah. was whenever I saw him, he was always on the mat, right. not in the ring. Uh, but dude, the first man, the first time I <laughs> the first time I saw him, it was him and a uh, boogeyman. Oh, jeez. Wow. Uh, first time I saw both of them, I was like, I had a, like I stopped whatever <laughs> whatever was going on in the ring. I stopped them because they were on their way out. Yeah. I was like, guys, excuse me, I have to. <laughs> and then I ran. And then I caught him outside. I was like, guys, I'm so sorry. I just want to let you know, like, I watch you on TV. Right. Like, you're, you're, you're amazing fan. people. Yeah, yeah, like, I'm a huge fan. Uh, I appreciate you for letting me come here. Like, they're probably looking at me like, dog, just get in there. Like, you know? but, but I'm over here just like, 
marking out. Yeah, mm-hmm. dude. Like it's so weird because like now I definitely wouldn't be that guy. I'd be like, hey man, what's up, dog? Right. Like, we go way back, dog. But, <laughs> but like you know, <laughs> but but like yeah, I would. De- I definitely like had a moment there. Um, but yeah, it was actually cool though because there was like a time or two where uh, Bobby Lashley, after his training, kind of came with us and it was like, hey. You guys have any questions? And mm-hmm. I asked them. Really? I asked all the questions. And he, and he likes to talk too, like me. So yeah. like he, he got to like I got to learn a lot from him that nice. um, around those times. Um, uh, God, I guess I'm kind of giving you guys my whole story. Yeah, hey, that's, <laughs> that's fine. What you're here for. Yeah, that's like, what you're here for. <laughs> all right, I'll do it. Uh, <laughs> it's like the majority of our watchers are going to be the MPX addicts. And yeah. So like, you, you've come in, they love you for what you do in the ring. Now they're getting a chance to get to know you. So I love you guys too, I promise. Uh, oh, so yeah, so basically after Denver... Um, Basically, I okay, so I had graduated high school, uh, went to those, what, three places, and then uh, this was like a year or two after I graduated, um, no. and I, it was literally just me and, like, my other family, my best mm-hmm. friend, right, that I went to high school with. <laughs> um, he's a cool dude. His family's great. I love them so much, but I also wanted to be close to my family. So I went up, I moved to Connecticut, where a lot of my... A lot of the family on my dad's side uh-huh. uh, lived, and right. so basically I went over there, and I was like, okay, pro, pro wrestling schools <laughs> near me or whatever, um, and then I just, I saw like a list of them, and I was just looking through them. Again, nothing against the schools, uh-huh. I promise. Nothing against the schools. But I was trying, the one thing I look for in schools is like, what, who do they produce? Right. Right? What makes them like that school for me to go to? And so um, nothing so local was around that really produced anybody uh, that has been on TV or anything like that. Not, not that I could think of. Not, nobody that stuck out anyway. Right. Again, not shitting on any company, I promise. <laughs> uh-huh. um, but two hours away was the New England Pro Wrestling Academy. And so... I saw the list of people that came out of there, and I was like, all right, I guess that's where I'm headed. Um, and especially, you know, my favorite trip, uh, wrestler being Triple H, I had to. Right. <laughs> like, you can't. You can't not go to your favorite wrestlers, like, stomping grounds, right? Exactly. So, like, I went up there. Um, first thing I see in there are just, like, old belts, old pictures yeah. of Killer Kowalski, Triple H. Uh, hell, Goldberg was up there at one point. Yeah. Rock was up there at one point. China, Billy. Gun, yeah. uh, um, people, yeah, <laughs> Perry yeah, yeah, Saturn, yeah. actually too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, dude, a lot of a lot of names were up there, and I'm just like, wow, the history in this place. Um, so yeah, I began my training there, and honestly, they, uh, I want to say that they basically, I mean, they so they knew I had experience uh-huh. training or whatever, like. I, bumping and all that physical stuff was kind of natural to me. I right. could do it, um, but they also wanted me to learn the way exactly. to to do it. Right. So I mean, these other places were good and stuff, and I learned some stuff. But um, the New England Pro Wrestling Academy also uh, had a history of having a direct ca- connection with the WWE, uh-huh. which probably is a reason why there were so many names that came out of there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Um, if I was going to learn from a right school that was going to teach the right thing, then I needed to break any bad habits and then I needed to kind of actually do the right things so I can get to where I wanted to be, which at the time being WWE, I still want to be there. I'm just making that very clear. Um, uh, but I'm just, just saying. Um, so yeah, uh, again, very intense, uh, environment and it was almost one of it wasn't so it wasn't bad intense um but it was kind of one of those like test how mentally strong you are i was gonna say is it one of those because it is the east coast and it is new england and they do have a very old school approach of they're going to weed out the ones who don't really want it they want the ones that truly have the drive truly yeah. have the heart that can continue with it because like you said if you look at the talent that's come out of there there's a reason that they've come out of there because they should endure it because it is not only physically, but it's also, yeah, mentally. Right. And that's, you know, the thing 
that's one of the things we always hear about WWE is they pretty much break you down physically and mentally to see if you can do it. Because again, it's I think a lot of people forget that aspect of wrestling of how mentally mm-hmm. taxing it is. Yeah, and it's no joke, man. Um, it it almost was one of those like break you down to build you up kind of thing. Yeah. But the cool Who thing. <laughs> Yeah, in a sense, but like it not in the bad way. Like they really tested your mental. It, uh, right. Well, they wanted it for you as bad as you wanted it. Mm-hmm. But for those that especially said that they wanted it, and and, and especially like went there to train their asses off yeah. and everything like that, um, they pushed us even harder because we're the ones that definitely showed that we wanted it. Right. So they made us do even more intense stuff, like. Bro, if you want this, this is exactly what it's got to be like. And, so, <clears throat> and to me, that's the way, <clears throat> and granted, it's every kind of coaching mentality is going to be different. For sure. To me, I am one of those that I want a hard-ass coach, and that's also how I coach. Like, when yeah. I coach football, it's, no, you're, it's the tough love aspect. Yeah. I want you to do the best possible. If I'm yelling at you, it's not necessarily because I hate you. It's because I want you to get the intensity and to be better. Yeah. Um, and that's a... Uh, the way, because there are wrestling schools out there that just take your money and kind of that's it. Like, they don't really care. They'll just take your money. <laughs> They'll and give you a plaque and a graduation schools, ceremony. Right. And then there are other wrestling schools like this one and, every, and a lot of others around the area that are, no, no, we're going to take your money, but we're also going to make sure mm-hmm. this is right fit for you, right fit for us, and everything's going to go right. right. And we want you to be the best. I can't tell you how much I, um, because I love this so much, I can't tell you how much I despise those kind of. Oh, let me just take your money mm-hmm. and have fun. Yeah. Be like, here's a ring, have fun, kind of thing. Like, that's n- no, dude. Right. Like, these people, I feel like, here's my thing with that, is that there are people that truly believe that they can actually do this, right? And that is a great mentality to have. My issue is, is that they're not coached and or taught well. They're just giving money, uh, they're just uh, giving their money to, to people and only to let them play wrestler right. versus actually be like train for, to be a wrestler. Yep. That's like my biggest. Ugh. But um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> question. Yeah. So Chris has another question. So uh, you mentioned in the past that you mostly travel and. Is this something that you're looking for, or that you do you prefer the constant variety? Um, honestly, well, first off, I feel like I have a home at NPX, which is super cool. Um, ha- <laughs> I'll just say that right now, but, um, Suck up. <laughs> chill. <laughs> no, um, uh, but also in, in New England for Wrestling Academy, just so you know, uh, well, sorry, up in the Northeast, uh, chaotic wrestling, mm. though I haven't been on there too many times, like I would definitely still consider them my home as well, for sure. Uh, I've done security for them. I've done <laughs> setup and all that other stuff, and I've had you know a few matches here yeah. and there too. Um, but, but yeah, so but to answer the question, I ideally I would love every promotion to be my home, mm-hmm. mainly just because I want to travel everywhere. Yeah. I mean, I'll, ideally I want to get signed, <laughs> right? But I want but, to get signed and travel, <laughs> right? Yeah. Right. But but right the but the biggest thing is that I want to be able to wrestle everywhere and be able to just like I did with MPX impress and just come back please come back like I want I just want to be able to showcase my my ability and I honestly I feel like I just need one shot with any uh-huh. any promotion and that's it. There's there's nothing better than walking into a promotion you've never worked before and getting that please come back chant. Oh mm-hmm. god, there's, it was amazing. There's nothing that tops that. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I, the it, the standing ovation, the I, oh my gosh, it was. I'm getting goosebumps, man. <laughs> like it's wild. It's it's such a weird feeling, man. Um, I need more of that. Yeah. It's like it's it's a crazy. I'm not even a druggie. Addict. <laughs> I'm not an addict, guys. Right. But however, that is the best the best high that yeah. I'll that I'll ever have in my life. Oh yeah, honestly. definitely. And it's like we've talked about before. The addicts are a different breed of fun. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> yeah. Because there are a lot of people who are like, they're not necessarily wrestling fans, but they go to MPX and suddenly they're addicts. They yeah. are MPX addicts. That's cool. 100%. Yeah. So they really won't know anything. They won't even know like WWE yeah. or huh. anything like that, but they'll know everything about right. MPX. Yeah, for sure. That's awesome. I mean, what? oh, sorry. Please. Oh, no, no, go ahead. Um, nope, I forgot. Uh, okay. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> no, I was, I was going to touch on a little bit because you said Triple H is like your favorite wrestler. Oh, for sure. Obviously, when you watch your style, nothing like Triple H. Is that something like, because I, I, I'll be honest, I'm kind of saying, like, if I ever was to become a wrestler, I have to be the big guy. Yeah, my favorite wrestlers are Shawn Michaels, Ric Flair. But I was the came out wrestle mm-hmm. like that. Right. So is that something you felt you did have to kind of change a little bit, or did you try to be like, no, I want to be like? Triple Dude, a. that was my first like. I okay, so I graduated high school. Okay, I wrestle in high school, right? So when I wrestled in high school, I was like one twenty five. Okay, so I'm like one seventy right now. Um, when I graduated, probably one thirty. Mm-hmm. So like. I'm starting to lift weights with my dad, who, he, he wasn't a bodybuilder, but he basically trained like one. Okay. So like, it, I was able to definitely, uh, you know, learn like everything I needed to in order to help myself get bigger. Right. In my mind, from high school, like when I was in high school, I was like, I'm gonna get as big as Triple H. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> um, Why didn't it work? I wished for it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and man, and I got, I got, I got so many like, you'll never get as big as him. And I'm like, watch me. And I, I trained so hard and. Damn it, I'm still training so hard. <laughs> um, Sometimes the frame just doesn't support the dream. Yeah. So, like, that was, like, one of the biggest things. Like, oh, for example, like, uh, you guys know the name Flip Gordon? Uh-huh. Okay, mm-hmm. so he came in uh, at the New England Pro Wrestling Academy, yep. and he was like, I want to do flips. I was like, screw that. Like, why would you want to do that? Like, that's not cool. Triple H is cool. Like, <laughs> flips are cool as hell. Yeah. And Flip Gordon is cool Flip as hell. Gordon, yeah. But, um, yeah, super nice. Uh, but the, my big mm-hmm. busters, I want to big power bombs. I want to lift people above my head. <laughs> uh, and that was, that, that was not realistic. <laughs> now, granted, um, realistically, I trained well enough where I can do all mm-hmm. that. I mean, you guys saw the last time I was there, I lifted, uh, Aaron Eagle over yeah. my head. Boom. Put him that down. was awesome. Yeah. Love you, dog. Um, <laughs> don't come for me, man. <laughs> That's okay. He's going to be busy tonight anyway. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah watch me run in, too. I was going to say, speaking of being lifted over his head. <laughs> yeah. Skirt bone. Um, but, yeah. Oh, man. He is facing Keith Lee, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Lucky. <laughs> I think you guys are going to bring it up. You might as well talk about it. I was going to say. Is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is going to be the mix between... Uh, MPX and Pro Wrestling Revolver. A hey, Revolver, I'm coming for you, dog. I'm just letting you know right now. I really, really hope you're watching this because I am coming for you. You know, here's the thing, guys. Um, we talk about like me coming in, my big debut and stuff like that. I have the biggest chip on my shoulder, okay? And here's why. Because every place that I go, um, want, yeah, I do want to impress and all that other stuff, right? But also at the same time, I feel like sometimes I get put in like a certain area or a certain category or a certain niche where people want me to do specific things and I honestly have let that be the detriment of my career I feel like um, and at this point I'm kind of done being that guy to- no offense to Cavins I love this guy <laughs> no no hear me out hear me out no I was gonna Chill, dog. <laughs> Chill, dog. I think she beat you to the punchline. <laughs> no, I love Cavins. Um, my what I was actually gonna say is that he reminds me so much of me when uh-huh. I first came out. Like when I first started wrestling, yeah. not training with the mentality of being Triple H, but when I first started wrestling because I'm so athletic and I can do all these flips and stuff like that. Like, right. especially when I first started, I was like. Oh, Ricochet, I can do all of that, no problem. Oh, Will Ospreay, I can do all of that, no problem. Nowadays, I'm about 30 years old, so like, you know, like, uh, I've hit a few deadlifts, you know, so uh, my back may not take that anymore, but. Um, I was gonna say, it's like the bum card is starting to get marks on it. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. However, I still feel like I can do a bunch of that stuff, but the, the biggest thing is that like, especially like, 
um, like for somebody like Cavins. Cavins is what I feel like he's me when I first started out. Uh-huh. People love him, right? Yeah. And he mm-hmm. reminds me so much of me when I first started. However, I, I'm I'm scared that he will be put in just this spot yeah. here where, and I'm not saying by MPX or anything like that, just in general, uh-huh. he will get put in this spot where he's going to be deemed this one person yeah. and he won't be able to let himself like spread out or whatever. I'm definitely going to clip that. And there's a history. I mean, <laughs> no, but it, it's, it's good advice because if you look no, it, at the history of wrestling, uh, fucking Kobe <laughs> Kingston was that way. Dude, he was yeah. this person for this long. Yeah. It took him what 13 years to finally get a singles main event title and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Not even just like when he was the world champ to get that push and get that build. Yeah, it took him. 13 years of WWE watching him and knowing that he's talented, but no, we want you for this. We want you for the Royal Rumble spot. We want you for a ladder match. Yeah. We want you we to do something We need comedy high relief. High. Yeah. Nah. And then finally... Let's give you a chance. Let's yeah. give it a shot. Uh, and that's happens. the thing. Like, uh, you mentioned it. Ricochet is, to me, stuck in that way. Mm-hmm. Ricochet yeah. is, He's the flippy dude. Ricochet is the new Kofi Kingston, and hopefully he can break out of that, but... I don't know because I've never really seen it out of Ricochet too. I need to go see so that match. Here's happens. my thing: I I would 100 percent believe Ricochet is a lot more than what he is, and I'm sure you guys do mm-hmm. too, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. It's just what and this is what gets me too. Like with like places that I've gone to, sometimes like, oh, I want you to hit this, and I want yeah. you to hit that, or I want you to be this type of person. Well, I'm done being that type of person. Right. I'm done. And I no. I'm going to be Jet Black. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what I'm going to be, and whatever that happen, whatever happens after that is what's going to happen. Yeah. Like I'm going to pave my own way. I'm not going to do what somebody else thinks who I should be as a professional wrestler. Right. That's asinine. It's crazy. Unless you're Vince McMahon. <laughs> would, and then you do what the boss you say. says. Yeah. Whatever you want. Uh, but actually, that is, uh, you were talking about uh, your comparison to Cavins and everything like that. Yeah. I actually did kind of want to talk about yeah. some of the comparison to Cavins, but uh, not directly. I can imagine. Because uh, it's like uh, your gear, your music, your name. You're an oh, anime fan, I'm guessing. They're all anime nerds, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're definitely an anime fan, I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, so actually, let's talk about the anime aspect. Of it. <laughs> what uh, anime is that? That's crazy. I feel like you would know. Um, <laughs> well, I was just I like, feel, I feel like someone yelled it out. I was like, crowd, I, so I can't remember times. who it was. Somebody, yeah. somebody was like, oh man, that's a, that's such a uh, stereotypical name for someone to call, uh, you know, African American to call themselves Jet Black. My first thought was Cowboy Bebop. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> See, I get, um, I get that a lot, and I have watched Cowboy Bebop, but it's been so long that when I came up with the name. Forgot about it, and everybody's like, because yeah. everybody knows I'm an anime fan. They're like, oh, from Cowboy Bebop. I'm like, fuck. Yeah. Right, yeah, okay, yeah. Like, I already came up with it, and it was sounded too cool for me to let go. So I was just like, well, it's too late now. I'm like, that game, I just got tired. Yeah, yeah, man. I was like, man, it's too late now. So, um, but no, my my anime stems from from Naruto. Um, the reason why I specifically uh, decided to go with them is because, well, I mean, first off, anime, right? Uh, but second of all, it's my favorite of all time, even though so many fillers, let's just skip the fillers, guys. Don't even worry about it, okay? It needs the brotherhood um, treatment where it's all condensed. Yeah, right. Um, however, there's a lot within that show that I resonate with. Um, I mean, we can go into specifics if you guys really want to, yes. but there's a lot that I feel like I resonate with, which is why... I decided to go with that type of look. And no, it's not a cosplay. Um, it is just an extension of Jet Black, honestly, because some of their experiences, I feel that in some some form or fashion I've gone through, uh, and which is why I can relate to it the most, and which is why the world will know my pain. <laughs> If you guys, if anybody understands that reference, the world will know pain. That's it. Question. Uh, so Chris asks again, how did you land on the Leaf Police Force logo with the Puma Shuriken behind the Uchiha fan? Okay, so... <laughs> what? <laughs> it's all Naruto, no, 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 don't worry about it. Yeah, it's all good. Alright, cool. Uh, okay, so basically... Um, 
the way I actually thought of just my overall gear is first off my gear in in this anime uh, for those that don't know the type of gear that I'm wearing is kind of a mixture of a few things um, I definitely saw the Sasuke inspiration in there <laughs> it's more like, it's a new Chiha like the, mm. it's the last name it's, yeah 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 it's, it's, it's an overall thing uh, I'm more of an Itachi fan uh, that's uh, fair just cause I'm cooler He's the, I was gonna say he is the better character <laughs> I swear to God, he's gonna go up to Cadence and be like, <laughs> uh, uh, I do I do that to my son all the time. <laughs> I'm being honest. He's like, Daddy, can we play video games? Sorry, son. <laughs> Later. You start talking about kids, right? <laughs> 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 um, but let's see. How did I land on that? So basically, well, the overall gear itself, um, uh, the gear itself, like the the silver part and all that, it's it's from you watched. Naruto. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not okay. yet. Okay. <laughs> yeah, gonna, he's, a, he's a new anime fan. I'm not saying that's cool. He's an anime fan. So my, uh, this part of my, my, um, my, my gear basically stems from the Anbu. Now the thing is with the idea behind that is that the Anbu Black Ops, they do all the work from within the shadows. Right? Mm -hmm. And so I was always one of those guys like like in real life, I was one of those guys that was like, okay, well, I don't need to really talk about what I'm doing. I'm just going to do it. Mm -hmm. And so I figured like, well, especially also as I'm wrestling right now, maybe not a lot of people know me. So I'm doing all that work from <laughs> issue with that. <laughs> There's only one issue that I, that I feel with not the gear, not the thought behind it but just like the overall the process of like doing things from the shadow and just kind of grinding in silence is the fact that I feel that I've let in me grinding in silence I feel like I've let so many people get the opportunities that I've already earned mm -hmm. because I've been grinding in silence and they've been like posting about it or whatever mm -hmm. at this point I'm pretty much done grinding in silence like i'm not i don't care i'm going to show all my stuff off and i have a list of they call it the blacklist mm -hmm. ah. nice. of names that i want because here's the thing is that there's so many people that have these opportunities and i'm not saying that they haven't earned them mm -hmm. not at all but i am saying that i'm at least on their level for sure for sure uh, and so I have a list of names that I definitely am going to be calling out uh, to show that I am on their level, at least. Um, however. So I, bookers, pay attention. <laughs> yo, bookers, pay attention. Uh, please. Uh, <laughs> I, love, I love this. I love this immediate yes. facade of like, no, I'm going to prove to exactly. you I'm on that level. Please. Uh, <laughs> record scratch. Like if you if you need somebody on a on a show or something. And job, it's fine. <laughs> I didn't say all that. I mean, one, two, three. I'll baby, do what I'll, 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 I'll do what I have to. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll do what I have. To. Um, the Ambu Black Ops, right? Uh, and then also I added the police force sign just because um, I took inspiration from their father. I don't know if you know much about their father, but he was the head of the police task force, yeah. and they had that sign on there. And so that bottom part of my of my gear, of uh, that of the, the vest. Mike. <laughs> You're gonna have to explain the Alejandro Cortez to me. No, so. we don't. <laughs> so, so the the bottom part of that actually is a part of uh, their their father's gear. Um, I'll have to show you a picture after all this, mm, so that yeah. you can kind of get. It. It's not Power Rangers, guys. <laughs> Everybody, stop! It's not Power Rangers, okay? And that 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 clan sign is not Pokemon, okay? So, stop it, please! Oh. Every single one of you keep coming at me talking about. Oh, is that Pokemon? No, like I like. Pokemon, it's cool. It's not Pokemon. God. <laughs> I'm getting flashbacks to arguments I used to see at cons about 10 years ago. <laughs> so, to touch on a little bit, because you're talking about your, you know, blacklist and everything like yes. that. What is one name that you absolutely hands down want to get in the ring with to test your mind? Like, there's a lot of people. Who's at the top of your like, list? Like, one I think would be amazing is you and Barry Brown. 
But oh, yeah. like, what, For sure. what is one name that you have on that list? So like, I want this match and I want it now because I want to prove that I am uh -huh. one of the best in Texas. Well, here's my thing. Here's, here's I, I don't have just a name. I have quite a few names. Chris Bay. Yep. You're cool, dog, but I definitely am on your level for sure. Um, I believe it. At least. Uh, Khan, mm. Anthony Green, Flip Gordon, Myron Reed, uh, Rich Damn. Swan. Um, God, there's so many. Uh, what's uh, uh, Zachary Wentz? Yeah, Wentz. Uh, so pretty much all so, the rascals, Trey Miguel. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get him too, dog. Yeah, yeah, you on the list, man. Um, uh, God, uh, Kid Bandit. Dude, mm -hmm. okay, so I was supposed to face Kid Bandit for another show, but nah, things got mixed up or whatever, and then they ended up uh, working somebody else. Don't think that you're not on the list, Kid Bandit, because I am coming for you. I just want to let you know that. Uh, I, I love you, though. I Big fan. One, However... One of, one of the big four versus one of the new four. <laughs> I'm still coming for you. Um, yeah, I have a lot of people on my list. And, and honestly, some of, these, some of these guys I've actually already come across, whether it was in a ring or in the back of a locker room or whatever. Um, nothing personal to nobody. I, I just want to let you know that I'm at least on your level, and I'm here to prove that big chip on my shoulder. But that's the thing with wrestling and with wrestlers and stuff like that. One, you're your own worst critic. And then two, it is, wrestling is such a weird business where you have to work together to make it work for the fans. But yeah, you're always going to be like, no, I'm the best. I'm the better one. I'm, you know, I want to be the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's such a weird balancing act to me. Like, it's one of those things that's so, it's so weird because like, the only sport I really liked football. I was a big football person. Mm. So yeah, I'm going out there to kill the person in front of me. Yet in wrestling, yeah, you're trying to kill the person in front of me, but you're also having to work together to protect each other to make it safe and enjoyable for all the fans. But right. you're still trying to prove you're the stronger one, you're the best one, you're all this stuff. Uh, you're thinking it from two separate views. Though. Well, yeah, no, that's the thing. It is. It's it's a weird balancing act because it is two different ways. But it's not, it's not the same. Um, yeah, no. So there's nothing... It might, and actually, I was talking to, I was, saying, I was talking to Khan um, at one point, uh, I think it was like backstage, mm -hmm. I think it was because I had a match with him October mm -hmm. of 2022, um, or one, three, I don't know anymore, <laughs> I just had a match with him, okay, um, but, uh, so when I was talking to him, um, both of those guys are really like parallel in their mindset, and I love yeah. it. Um, he's he's he he was talking. I was talking to him, and he was telling me like, because uh, I was trying to tell him like, "Hey man, I, no disrespect, but I'm on your level." He's like, "No, dude, tell me you're better than me." <laughs> and, and, and and that's not like a competitiveness or anything like that, but to be able to have that confidence in yourself to actually believe that you are at a certain level, like you need to think a certain way. Mm -hmm. And so he was really helping me kind of figure out like the mentality that I really should have right. to be able to get to a certain level. And honestly, I feel like at the time, I I, I am confident in myself, but at mm -hmm. that time when I was talking to him, I don't think I was as confident. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and just people like him and Anthony Green, man, like you guys are in my inner circle and you probably don't even know it because yeah. cause those those type of mindsets, man, they just look, uh, lift me up, man. Yeah. And it's like you were saying, because um, they are, they they can be easily confused. It's not an ego thing. It's a no. confidence thing. For sure. Yeah. And especially in a live entertainment kind of industry, too much is just enough. Right. When it comes to confidence. Right. Um, and I definitely need to run that match back with Khan too, though, because... Mm -hmm. I'm right here, dog. You already know where to find me, baby. You want another match? I'm right here. Whenever. Somebody just at Aaron Eagle. Somebody, yeah. Anybody. I don't care. Well, we'll, we'll clip that. Well, and that's, and that's another thing, like, because we had talked about it with Cavins earlier. That was a bad extreme match, so to speak. Yeah. That, and a lot of eyes, mainly mine, but a lot of eyes kind of got ruined. Yeah. They got uh, Carlos Diaz and Triple Threat, which, again, <sighs> it wasn't a bad match, and it worked out. But I feel like he that's, stole my match, dude. He did. Because yeah. like that's what to. the addicts wanted. The addicts wanted two of their favorites to go against each other <coughs> because it was going to be amazing. It's going to be fireworks. And the two or three minutes y'all had was amazing to see. And 
we're like, oh, we got chipped out of what would be a really great match. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Which just made, you know, Carlos a huge heel. Yeah, no, it. exactly. Like I said, it worked and it did what they were supposed to do. Pull it. This, <laughs> this is for you, Carlos. All right. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, it's one, of those, my match. it's one of those things like, because when it first was announced, I was like, eh, they don't need to go against her. They need to be a tag team. The tag team would be great. But then we got that, like I said, two or three minutes of yelling down. You're like, oh no, this, this shit would be mm-hmm. easy. Yeah. <laughs> it needed to be comic book kind of thing. They go against each other, then they team up, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be opposed to the whole like, tag. I'm, I'm really a singles wrestler, honestly. Yeah. I, and, and this is, no disrespect to anybody, I like working singles. I mm-hmm. I didn't really ever train to work as a tag team, right. so that concept is it, like I love watching it. Like mm-hmm. especially the really good matches, like Usos and all them, mm-hmm. like super amazing. <clears throat> but like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like <laughs> tag me, brother. Like <laughs> that's all I know. And then when I get in there, like. Crap! What do I do? Like, what? I don't know, dude. So like, that's not like tag matches are cool. Um, and I again, I would not be against them. I would actually love to learn to do them, but I. Do you feel what, like that's what, what just something that's kind of like missing from your repertoire right now? Is a tag just, match? Just being right. a tag team and learning that kind of style. I honestly, honestly, um, if it's missing, I don't know. I'm gonna say yeah. Why not? Because you know what? There's always you can always learn something in professional wrestling, and I'd love to learn every aspect of wrestling. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it is. Um, and I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind doing that either, to be honest. Uh, but watch me turn on your ass. <laughs> I'm just telling you right now. <laughs> how do you How do you feel about like intergender wrestling? I've done it. Yeah. I've done it. Um, I'm not completely against it. No, I'm not against it. Cause honestly. <laughs> these women hit hard <laughs> and, and, and I almost feel like maybe it's like they have to prove something but when I get slapped in the face really hard or, or punched or elbowed or something I'm just like you don't have to prove that <laughs> you, can, you can chill dog like, <laughs> ow that hurts <laughs> like, like I mean don't get me wrong this this is not ballet this, yeah. that's the cliche right, right. but like uh, and I'm, I'm gonna hit back but she's probably gonna hit back harder, which is, is the very, it's the scariest thing. <laughs> like a lot of, I feel like, um, oh, I don't want to hurt her. She's a girl. No, no, she signed up for this. She knows what she's about to do. <laughs> and hell, she's coming for you with a bag of potatoes ready to slap her across your face. <laughs> oh my god. So, uh, I'm not completely against it. There's there have been some really really good intergender matches. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah. I'm not against it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I wanted to bring back to uh, you talking about your coming out of uh, the New England area yeah. and here in Texas the last few years. Um, I've gotten this perspective from the IWC and fans and in general, I want it from a wrestler's point of view. Uh, what would you say was like, you know, what, what do you think is the difference between, you know, the Upper East Coast si- style of wrestling versus like the Texas style? Biggest difference. You know what's weird is that some of these guys that I've come across... I'll just use Khan as an example again. Like, mm. you could say he's Texas wrestling, but he definitely doesn't come from here. Uh-uh. He he came from uh, well, I, I was gonna say Minnesota, but 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 actually, he, Maryland is the M word right. I was looking for, uh, which is where they were training uh, the guys for Ring of Honor. Uh-huh. Um, he trained under Joey Mercury, who yep. is another like kind of old school mentality where it was just nothing but intensity. Yeah. Um, there there are some good guys out here that. Like, when I talk to them about their training, they come from other places. So right. I don't have, like, a hold on, like, or a pulse on, on you know, Texas wrestling, mm-hmm. per se. Uh, I just know what I've experienced as far as my training and the people I've come across, which kind of seem like they've gone through the same thing. So I feel like I'm well, basically in sync with a bunch of guys that I'm, I've never met before. I was going to say, this is the land of Killer Tim Brooks and Skandar Akbar, so... That, 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 <laughs> Keith Lee, by the way, I, I definitely want to come across you too. Like, yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> Stop. Been, been there, trust me. No, you I was gonna say she's wrestled him, so she got spirit bomb technically twice. Oh my one, god! In I, one setting. Oh man, yeah, but let him, let me uh, catch him in my bomb. <laughs> 
But yeah, it's one of those things. I mean, it's like kind of going back to it. Texas is. Hey, Jennifer. I'm sorry. While there is um, a Southern style wrestling in Texas and stuff like that, it also, like you're kind of touching on, it's a melting pot, just like it is yeah. as Texas as a whole in general, mm-hmm. as far as like food or people or whatever. It is a giant melting pot. So when people are like, oh, Texas wrestling, it's like, to me, it's a little weird because, yes, it is very. You'll get an East Coast style. You'll get a Lucha style. You'll get a Deathmatch style. You'll get yeah. a Tommy style. Like Texas wrestling to me is literally all encompassing. Yeah. Um, while yes, there is that old school kind of Southern storytelling that was really popular, like with WCCW and stuff like that, mm-hmm. that is still there. It's become more of a melting pot of like all these different styles coming together. Because yeah, when you're up the East Coast, there is a specific style. Like you're not seeing a lot of different things like you do here. Right. Um, which isn't bad. It's still good. Like to me, like like I said, one of the only things I really loved about when I lived in Maine was Limitless Wrestling because yeah. it was the closest thing I found to an MPX or a VIP here. Yeah. Because up East Coast, there are a lot of shady promotions and shady promoters. Um, yeah. Well, there's carnies everywhere. Oh, man. there is. God, and I've was, encountered some too. It was horrible. <laughs> there, 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 there are some, yeah, for sure. Like I'll never forget one time. Uh, one of the first couple of months I was living there, I saw a poster in Maine and it had Lance Hoyt on it. And I was like, oh, I, and of course I messaged, I was like, oh, you're going to come up north? That's awesome. You know, I just moved here. And he goes, I'm not booked there. And I was like, oh, well, here's a poster saying you are. And it was like him and David Bowie Smith Jr. when they're the Killer Elite Squad and a couple oh, wow. of other people. And he goes, yeah, no, I am, I'm not booked for that at all. I've never been contacted. I was like, oh, wow. bullshit. <laughs> so they're going to be able to say last minute, oh, yeah, sorry, oh, yeah, Lance exactly. isn't going to make it. it. It's, yeah, Thanks it's, for buying all those it's tickets. Just stuff like that, that's ridiculous. What's <laughs> up, so, Elvis? Sorry, that's, that's my boy. <laughs> uh, so who on the current MPX roster would you most like to work? The champion. Uh, Tatum. 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 God, I was like, why? Why was I forgetting his name? Oh my God, I'm sorry, Tatum. You're, my, you're cool. I definitely, so, man, uh, well, honestly, um, I can't, it's, this is kind of one of those things where anybody and everybody can get it. Mm-hmm. However, I do want to wrestle those that I believe I can also learn from as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel like every wrestling match is definitely a learning um What's the word I'm looking for? Not curve. Experience. experience. There it is. Yeah. Wrestling. Uh, it's a learning experience for sure. Um, Palmer. Hell, I'll, I'll wrestle Athena. Uh, Careful. You, you talk about hard hitting women. She will. Kick your ass. <laughs> I'll wrestle Athena. Um, <laughs> I'm clipping that. <laughs> Damn, Damn dog. With the uh, squeak in the voice and everything. But no. So I'll. Uh, her, uh, the other Palmer. I'm joking. He has a name. He has a name. Matthew Palmer. Okay, I I, I will wrestle him. Uh, uh, God, yeah, no. Anybody that is um, a main staple to the MPX roster, I would love to come across because. You know what I really love? How Palmer's known as the other Palmer. Yeah. When it's his I was, last <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> I was oh, sh- you may be joking, but the internet does not joke about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, it's dead listen, about that. do not screw me on this, all right? <laughs> Don't screw no, me no, on no, you see, You're not going to see me at MPX. Typically, you guys <laughs> mess with me. Typically, when they're referred to as a whole, they are the Palmers. But when it's, when it's individually, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's Athena and her husband, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's used to it. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, he is. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, he had. He, you're the, he always changed his Twitter the name Palmer, for it. It was wonderful. All right, you're the Palmer. He's a Palmer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, their words, not mine. All right. <laughs> it's all right. He's Careful busy. what you he's ask for, Jack. This. <laughs> Man's is bold, hey, bro. Kinda. I mean, what? What else? I told you I'm a chip on my shoulder. What? You thought this was fake? <laughs> you, you thought this was a game? This ain't a game, dog. Give me everybody, bro. <laughs> no, no. I mean, it's sun chips. <laughs> sun chips. Those are my favorite. Har- harvest cheddar. Harvest cheddar. Yeah. Harvest cheddar. I was going to say, it's like it's the one chip. You know? it's, yes, sir. It's spicy as fuck. Adam Chavez, 71. I feel like I know that one. Why do I know that name? AC. Adam Chavez? AC? AC, yeah. yeah he's, he's an NPX guy. What up, AC? Yeah. Air conditioner. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, he's very popular in Texas this time of year. Oh, oh okay. Well, that's... <laughs> Love you, AC. <laughs> Sheesh. Um, well, that's cool. Uh... What um? So, what um? Other pro- is there any promotion that you so haven't nice. worked with yet that you kind of really want to get into? VIP. Okay. Uh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Harvest Shadow guys. That's the Thank you. Um. Well, Going I, professional up here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are you talking about in Texas or just period? Oh, period. Oh, everywhere. Yeah. Um, God. Uh, <laughs> um, geez. So, prestige. Mm. Uh, pro wrestling revolver. Yeah. Weird. Um, uh, 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 gosh. Uh, yeah, VIP. Um, row. Uh, for sure. I want to go back to chaotic because that's home. Yeah. Uh, the Atlanta, Georgia. Let's just say that. Oh no, District Pro Wrestling, um, or Championship Wrestling. I'm sorry, um, or Championship District Wrestling. <laughs> however you guys say it. Um, I was gonna say, I feel like it's changed a couple times, so you're <laughs> <Yeah>. not wrong. <laughs> uh, Destiny Pro Wrestling, Defy mm-hmm. Wrestling, um, all the places in California, everywhere. Just book me. Elevate. Everybody. I was going to say, it's like, would I you don't wanna, care. Book me. <laughs> would what? you want to go to like next gen over in England? Or, uh... Dude, I want, I'd love to go to England for sure. Uh, pro, yeah, progress for sure. Uh, uh, what's, the, what's the one in Ireland? Um, ICW. Yeah, that's what yeah, I thought. Yeah, ICW. Yeah. Yeah. Insane. That'd be fun. Commander <laughs> Sterling, a wrestler up there. Dude, I, yes. I don't care. Anybody, please. <laughs> please. Like, you don't understand how bad I want this. Like, guys. <laughs> Chip, chip on my shoulder, okay? All, all the chips, damn it. So, I can definitely tell you're a dad, you got the jokes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure, yeah. So with your love for anime and stuff like that, how yeah. is, like, Japan wrestling for you? Oh, like, is man. That something like... Dude, Japan is the dream. Like, I would love to go wrestle there. Funny you talk about it, Anthony, Anthony Green. Green. No, yeah. yeah, that was one reason I was looking at that. I was like, oh, man, Anthony was... Green went there. I was just talking to him the other day, and because uh, he just got back, yep. and he was like, "Yeah, man, I'm leaving in two weeks." What? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh man, like, bro, that's so amazing. Like, yeah. I'm actually super happy for him, and I'm, I'm not even jealous. Right. I'm not even jealous. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just like happy for him, but I definitely want to go there for sure. Yep. Oh, that'd be a totally different style to just learn mm-hmm. that. So that style of wrestling, and also um, British style of wrestling, right? right? No, the UK style of wrestling. I'll yes. just say that because it's full on catch style. Yeah, yeah. Oh, catch yeah. style. It's funny actually in San Antonio, um, they have a there is a catch wrestling place that I do go to. Uh, generally, if I'm not flying out or anything like that, if I'm not traveling or wrestling that day, they have like an open mat kind of deal on Fridays. Hmm. Um, you know, I'm gonna just shout them out. Combat City, baby. Oh, Combat City Catch Wrestling in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, there are, I mean, nobody will know, but they're, oh man, they're amazing people, yeah. and uh, they taught me quite a bit so far. Nice. So uh, I'm just saying, anybody can get these hands. You feel me? <laughs> so um, demo's already looking for a fight. Demo, <laughs> yo, demo, hey man, I'm coming for you, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fight you? Doug, I'm right here, man. I'm right here, dog. Say Next week at the Say Purge. I won't, bro. Say I won't, dude. This week in the parking lot. Yeah. Bro. Uh, not even have my All right, Devil's not far from here, is he? Yeah, dog. No. I'm, not, I'm coming straight to you afterwards, dog. No, I, I got to eat these first. <laughs> Uh, so you said that uh, um, uh, Japan's the dream. Uh, when it comes to promotions, you'd love to get signed to. What's your like top? WWE, WWE? Is, is 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 number one. Uh, but me being thirty years old, I... <laughs> you're at the line now. Unfortunately, <laughs> I I either get a lot of uh, a lot of followers and all that other stuff, and and they recognize me, and I get booked more and all that, and then I get you know a tryout or whatever, or. Or hope for the best. Who knows? <laughs> um, a lot of my, a lot of, a lot of the people that I've trained with actually have gone to WWE, so that's actually cool. Um, but also, I mean, that's just been the place that I've wanted to go to since I was. <sighs> yay big. <Right. laughs> However, uh, I will not discount any any other promotion. Uh, uh, God, what was I about to say? Oh, I was. Uh, uh, okay, sorry. No, we can go if you want. 
you want to keep going? I'm chilling. <laughs> um, oh, God. Sorry. Um, but yeah, Impact, AEW, Ring of Honor, like... <laughs> Literally anywhere. <laughs> I'm right here, bro. I'm right here. Okay? Like, I'm here to prove anything and everything I need to. I'm on that level. I'm telling you guys right now. The, uh, See, we're here on uh, Indie Spotlight already starting a few geez, <laughs> demos right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I see. <laughs> Waffle House parking lot? No, no. No, no. Oh, it's not it's the parking lot. It's got to be inside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if it's Waffle House, it has to be inside. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Let's what? just make sure Wendy ain't there. Yeah. So, <laughs> She'll kick all your asses. <laughs> going, uh, going back a little bit to your viral clip that went around and everything like that. Ah, do yes. Do you feel the clip. it was harder getting booked after that, or do you feel the bookings kind of happened because of it? What was the clip? Oh, you, you didn't clip? know? <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> so, someone, uh, tried, someone tried to do a shooting star press. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, so basically, here's did, what did happened. Did you Brock Lesnar it? I'm no. Negative. So you didn't see it? No, I haven't. All right, we're going to have to roll the clip. Oh my God, you haven't seen it? No, I haven't. You've seen it. We're going to have to roll the, the, we'll the clip later for sure. Yeah. Um, and, I, and I got that in the bag. Yeah. Um, and that's why we need to get to the new program so oh, we can yeah. do that. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Yeah, like, I'll be back for sure. <laughs> um, but uh, so basically, first off, I will start off by saying I, I know how to do a shooting star. Mm -hmm. I've done a shooting star multiple times. Um, the specific thing that happened with this this particular instance is that uh, when I went into that match, um, actually, when I went into that building just that day that day of, um, I was just kind of thinking, you know, damn, that sounds yeah. a little low. That's so low. <laughs> and so, oh. so what? What ended up happening was I was like, I was either going to hit a 450 or I was going to hit a, a shooting star. And I was like, well, which one's cooler? Mm -hmm. Come on, guys. We all shooting know the cooler. Right. So, um, and I've hit really clean ones, too. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, you know what? Like the shirt said, fuck it. Right. <laughs> so, uh, so what actually ended up. Most of the clip that I see online is just me on the on the turnbuckle saying yeah. fuck it and then going. Yep. Right? Well what happened like two seconds right before then was um I got up there, I lost my balance, mm -hmm. I got down and immediately as soon as I got down I propped myself right back up. Right. And then I looked up for like two seconds and that's where I paused. I was like, fuck it and then Boop, you know, right on the turnbuckle, I hit like a uh, uh, what's his name? Um, what's Seth Rollins' old old uh, Merrick Brave? Yeah. There we go. I hit Brave. I hit his hit his deal, um, mm -hmm. and that didn't. Even, I'll tell you guys right now, just so you know, none of that hurt. <laughs> it didn't hurt at all. It looks way worse than it actually was. The only thing that was hurting on my way home was my ego. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> That was that was the only thing. That's that's hurt enough. The worst the, the worst part about it too is that like when that happened, I landed on the floor, right? Yep. And the guy that was recording, dude, this is so going viral, and I was like, no, it's not. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> on my was way that? home, six hour drive home. On my way home, ego hurting, right? Don't, no, nobody cares about that apparently <laughs> just because the internet's blowing up <laughs> I get text message after Facebook message after notification and I'm just like yo damn. dude that you? <laughs> I was like damn that's crazy that really happened damn. So, that was uh, fun But oh sorry but I was going to say going back to the actual question did the bookings come after that or did it hurt? So it was kind of a mixture. Some yeah. people were like, oh, you're like, uh, what's his name? Uh, Rip Rogers? No. Uh, that, that always was on Twitter and shit talking about stuff? I think that was it. I think that Rip was Rip Rogers? I think that was him. Um, it was him or somebody else. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I tried to get booked somewhere in like New York um, yeah. at one point and I went down there not shitting on anybody. This is just what happened. Uh, I went down there um, because, like, I, I got a lot. I mean, the reality of it was, like, all the other, all the boys, right, mm -hmm. they, they all know who I am, right? They all see what I can do and everything like that. So, like, I think to them it was wild that that even happened to begin with. Right. But the biggest thing was, like, bro, are you okay? Yeah. Okay, you, you know you shouldn't have done that, right? Oh, yeah, let's learn. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, <laughs> but, um... 
after after all that, they're like, I, I made the shirt and everything like yeah. that. Obviously, you know, I made good sales off of that too, more than profited off the shirt. Um, and but that was what ended up happening after that was like I tried getting myself booked some places and some like Anthony Green for example he connected me with some places mm-hmm. right and it was great and some other people tried connecting me with other places he was like hey just go to this place give them my name tell them you're who you are mm-hmm. and you should be good so I went to some place in New York um, at one point and this is just an example but this has happened on more than one occasion I went to some place in New York uh, say I introduce myself hey my name's whatever whatever uh, I've been wrestling for this long whatever, whatever. here's a breakdown um, I'm here if you need me but I also want to work and they looked at me all weird like you that guy aren't you <laughs> and I'm just like yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're like oh okay yeah we'll tell you if we need anything and then like the whole night they just like completely kayfabe me as yeah. if they thought that like made me think that I was gonna get something yeah. and then nothing and then they all were also like laughing with each other like it was normally just like the older vets basically that was just laughing at me and making fun of me and I met some pretty cool people off of that though I had, actually Seth Rollins old old friend uh, best friend actually he runs the school with him yeah, brave. brave he reached out to me personally on, on, on Twitter and he was like hey man I know how it feels. <laughs> He's like, but I just want to make sure you're good and don't let anybody like really get you down about, right. you know, everybody's going to shit on you. Somebody's going to have something to say or whatever. And yep. yeah. And exactly. I was like, I appreciated it uh, for sure. I mean, my ego was the only thing I was really hurting at the time, but I wasn't letting like Jim Cornette, yeah. you know, like upset me. I'm right. like, bro, Jim, I have so much I could really say about you. If you really <laughs> wanted me to dog, I'm just not going to go there. All right. Um, but <laughs> chill. <laughs> but but uh, but yeah. Sorry, I'm the disillusioned guy. I used to like all but worship him, and now I'm just like, no, fuck him. Yeah, um, that's, that's wrestling. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man. Um. Uh. So it 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 was kind of a gift and a curse because some places would let me in and other places would just not. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, question. Yes. So, um... Sorry, you oh, had to hit up that one. Way up. Okay. Sorry. So, who is... Oh, who is someone that you've wrestled that you think the MPX or just DFW wrestling team as a whole is kind of missing out on? That's a really good question. J.P. Harlow. Mm. That's somebody. I don't know Harlow, if you guys... Harlow. We've seen him, haven't we? He's I mean, a... He, I, just off the top of my head, he's uh, one of the guys down at Hybrid uh, School of Wrestling in San Antonio. Um, him and uh-huh. Joey Hyder, they're actually a really charismatic, like, great talent that uh, I think needs to be seen more, for sure. At least I think so. And everybody's laughing, and I don't know why. Sorry. Yeah, it's, yeah, Jen, it's you suck up. <laughs> oh, Jen. Uh, so significant for me and him. Sorry, you can just... Yeah. <laughs> this keeps getting blurry, and I'm like... Yeah, because, sorry. Uh, so, so it is difficult for me to keep up with the stream because I'm at work. But I just wanted to say that you, one of the best rising talents at MPX, always a pleasure to watch. Most entertaining since that woman that used to carry the baseball bat. <laughs> God damn it! That's <laughs> that's my yeah, comment. What did you read? Yeah, which I find funny because you fucking awesome. hated that. Uh, <laughs> again, very humbling, Jennifer. I really appreciate you. Um, Hug. <laughs> because the goddamn bat. <laughs> no, it's just it's really cool to actually really again fun. have people that say stuff like that to me. That's fine. What is your favorite wrestling move that you love to see? Minus Spanish fly and Canadian short. That's not mine. I was just I was just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just reading. Um, favorite finishing what, favorite wrestling move. That First, yeah, favorite wrestling, wrestling move. move. I mean, my all time favorite move is is the pedigree. Yeah. It, it, in the, Mark. The, old, the, the old school where he wouldn't let go of the arms and just destroy oh people. You're like, what God. the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, like when you mean, watch knowing what, what it's supposed to be like, you're like, ow. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've actually taken it like that too. I mean, oh. it looks worse than it is, but it still kind of sucks. <laughs> um, 
Uh, I mean, I love super kicks. Those mm. are cool. I mean, I sound like the generic like Mizark. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I was gonna like, say, it's like you're just a '90s wrestling fan. Well, yeah, uh, it, like it's, it's weird because like some like some of my favorite moves, a good fucking lariat, something so simple. Oh when yeah, done no. right is oh, dude, beautiful. Dude, you I know always who loved gives it. a good lariat. Come on, he gives yes. amazing like. Yes, he does. Dog, like when I took that, like what happened? I don't even know. I he like, pinned me one, two, three. I feel, That's like, like, I feel like you went inside out, probably. <laughs> I probably. I think I did actually. Like, yeah, but yeah, he gives a really good one. Yeah, um, yeah sometimes his, his his stuff always looks like super hard hitting. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why nice. he is where he is. So. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. It's like I love the simple. I love seeing uh, simple moves executed like cleanly. Like yeah. I, my favorite is uh, Gold Dust old spinning scoop slam, Ooh. where he would just like snap it across and like yeah, holy like, shit. Oh man, like the the, the, the Randy Orton. Yeah. Oh dude, yeah. yeah. I need to add that to my repertoire because yeah. that, that is good. I love to do those. Mine is a tornado DDT. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it is such a simple yet elegant move, mm -hmm. but no one that I have seen can hit it just. Yeah, because there was like one. With a nice arc and a nice sling yeah. down. Because I forgot what we were watching. We were watching some, one of those stupid clips the other day, and I rewound it because I know she loves Serena. So I was like, oh, here's a good one <laughs> that finally someone did right. <laughs> Northern, <laughs> Northern Lights, too. That's a good one. Those, oh, yeah. those are beautiful. Ooh, it's the ooh, bridges, too. If you have a good that? bridge. Was it Tommy or was it uh, Ryan who did the Northern? They both did, but Ryan always had a good bridge. Yes. Well, let's talk about submissions for a second. You know one move I don't really ever see people do anymore? The Indian death lock. Oh, no. And, and I, I, I understood that. I love that move. And, and I, I mean, you know, I haven't really had a chance to do that because uh, I, I really don't know. You know yeah. what? But one of you guys are going to get it. I'm yeah. telling you right now. Like, because I know that. Yeah, I was going to say, Demo's got long enough legs. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Demo, I'm sorry, fam. I'm coming for you, dog. <laughs> So, but yeah, the death lock and the reverse ending death lock, you never really see them. Uh, Triple H had a beautiful one yeah. on Booker T at WrestleMania. Yes, sir. It was sir. amazing. Yeah, he did. Uh, Booker T's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I loved, uh, he's, he's I love Zabisco's uh, crossface chicken wing. Oh, yeah. Question. Uh, I'm a big fan of Rings of Saturn. Um, yeah, Rings of Saturn. So, uh, another question. What would you say makes you a standout from other talents? Do I want to let Ego talk here? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> we're, we're going Ego. We'll put the bag up. <laughs> right. Um, I always have something to prove. Um, I'm not saying other talent doesn't, but personally, I just like to think that my chip is on my shoulder is bigger than anybody else's. Yeah. Um, again, nothing against any talent anywhere, period. But I have such a, it's but you know, and I'll just say it because like <clears throat> the whole getting laughed at thing about the whole uh, like fuck it deal or whatever, yeah. right? There are so many people that put me in the category and that try to keep me in a certain place. Um, whether you're a promoter, whether you're just a fan, whether you're other talent, there are those people that I definitely feel that I have something else to prove and. I'm definitely here calling everybody out to let them know that I'm here to prove it. So, other question. I'm just curious as to what it, what it is you feel like you have to prove. Like, what is that? What is that burning desire that makes you do this? That that, that gives you that chip that makes you want to go out there and perform like you perform. Because, well, if I'm being honest, um, I'm super happy for everybody that's doing and. That's like, that's why I have that biggest chip on my shoulder is because I want to be one of those guys that are doing what they love and get paid for it. I don't want to have to worry about anything else. I want this to be able to support my household. This is the only thing that I've always loved since I was this big. So that's, I feel like, why I am... Like, give me a family size. You know what I'm saying? Like, Let me go get the ball. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but, but yeah, that, that, that's, that's, like, that's the thing. Because I, I, I feel like um, I love watching everybody that I do watch. Uh, whether it's Carmelo Hayes on NXT. Like, I was there when he was, I mean, I hate to say it, but nobody. We were uh, all yeah. nobodies at when one point, right? When he was <laughs> yeah, when he was, when, when he was somebody else. When he was just starting. Mm. I was there. I was there. That's crazy. And now look at him. This dude's about to hit the main roster probably in like six months to a year easily. Oh, no. Survivor Series. He's already... They're already 
talk about NXT doing things with Survivor Series. So. Mm-hmm. And my boy <laughs> has the championship. Yep. You know, it's actually kind of side note. What's exactly. actually kind of, kind of funny? Uh, so, like the other day, I bought my son the new WWE game, and I did not know that he was on it. Yep. And so my son wanted to do a tournament, and I was like, "All right, bet." So I did the NXT tournament, and Braun Breaker had the the title at the time. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'm gonna be my boy called Carmelo Hayes. <laughs> and so I was playing, and I beat my. I mean, I was a, I was kind of a dick, honestly. Uh, just, he got frustrated. I'm sorry, son. I still love you. It's just it had to be this way, all right. <laughs> so I had to make things current. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I put, I put, uh, I lift him up, but keep him in their place. <laughs> yeah, I, I put the, I put the belt on my boy. Yep. And so yeah, it was, it was, it was fun. Um, but I forgot what we were saying. ADHD. Oh uh, no! I was um, talking about what's what's your drive to keep going. Oh yeah, the drive. The no, yeah, yeah. I hope I answered that pretty yeah. well. Mm-hmm. Uh, if given the opportunity, would you take a Ric Flair chop or an F five from Lesnar? Both. Yeah. Same time. Both. <laughs> just, just chop into the F five. F five chop midair. Oh fuck! Oh. <laughs> Rock Lesnar is probably like if you stood stood up, he's probably about as tall as your 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 light there, your fan. Huh? Like. I, I, so I went to a WWE, um, uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. I should be. That's fine. Yeah. Either way, he's a tall dude is the main point. If you've seen him live, he's a tall dude. Yeah. Um, and just like, like it's one of those situations where you could easily look up and be like, dude, how is the weather up there? <laughs> <laughs> is it cloudy with a chance of meatballs or what? Like, what's going on? Um, I feel like the air is thinner up there. Are you good? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I wonder why you're sweating so much, man. Um, yeah, dude. Um, so much. Yeah. No, no. So we, got a, we got another one from Chris. It says, can you offer Kyle any anime and or women's wrestling suggestions as he needs to enjoy more of both? The running gag being that Kyle hates women's wrestling. I know. It all started with me. Yeah. I'm sorry, Kyle. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kyle. I can give you anime suggestions. Uh, um, uh, oh, what was that one we started? I like that one. Wait, hold up. Women's wrestling? Um... Sasha Banks, Bailey. Oh, of course. Oh, uh, Take over. Well, honestly, any any of the uh, big four. The Banks, four of yeah, the Banks, yeah. Um, Bailey, Becca, and Charlotte. Yeah. Like, and even now, Io Shirai. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm only really, I'm. Bianca. It's weird, Bianca, dude. I'm only really speaking WWE. Like, there's also like, there's Athena. Yeah. Don't chop me. Uh, there's, so there's, there's, yeah, there's Jade Cargill, yep. Cargill. I'm sorry. Mercedes Martinez. Mer- always been Mercedes, great. dude. First off, I didn't even know she came from Connecticut. That's yeah. cool. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Um, that was cool to, for me to like learn that about her. Um, and I think she still lives out there, so that's kind of mm-hmm. cool. Um, there is so many yeah. Britt Baker, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Chris Satlander, dude. Yes. I mean, I don't know her, know her, but like, I met her long ago when she was like. <laughs> you know what I mean and she blew up like I'm just gonna say she blew up yes. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah um, y- yeah there's so many so many good talent out there anyway uh-huh. but anime suggestions I have a lot but I think we have <laughs> questions to answer AC asks of all the superheroes what superpower would you want to have <laughs> teleportation Either flying, either either flying or teleportation, uh, because first off, your boy's a jet. No, I'm, <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm so actually joking. No, I'm, I'm joking. Actually, that doesn't stem from that at all. Um, even though I am an aircraft mechanic and I work on planes, but that has literally nothing to do with it, guys. Awesome. And, and, and the color of my skin or my ethnicity has nothing to do with my last name. Just so you know, so don't even. Um, however. Uh, yeah, those two. I, I think, um, I mean, my favorite all-time, like, superhero is, is actually Spider-Man, mm-hmm. which would be dope, but I also very much like Nightcrawler, where you can just yes. just go anywhere he wanted in a split second. But also, if we're going on the anime side, I always liked how, like, Ninja can just... Yeah. Like, what? Uh, and, like, what's happening in the in-between of you getting here to... There's that. Uh, I feel like there is more to that. Yeah. Well, no, and it's weird. Like everyone always says, superpower stuff. But I'm like, why not just be Wolverine? You can't die. You regenerate. It's great. Like I don't understand why people never choose that one. <laughs> Wait, because then you have metal as a skeleton. Okay, but you still never die and you regenerate. You think you got the you're, you're you're immortal essentially. I don't so know. So vampires, fuck. 
That's not a superpower, though. That's a curse. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Conspiracy theories, guys. And honestly, I feel like when I leave, there's somebody's going to either be in trouble or there's going to be a ring set up there so that they're going to hash it out. Something's going to happen. Well, um, demo over here. You guys can have yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I have a I have a trash can for him. <laughs> uh, not saying he's trash. I'm just saying I have one to dump him in. Uh, go on. Shut up or ask. Uh, what are your thoughts on Kyle hating women's wrestling? Kyle? <laughs> Kyle? Why? Um, everybody right, we has... need you to hit up uh, Nick or McConnell and get that shirt made. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, different strokes for different folks, man. Like, uh, I've met quite a few people that are like, I hate women's wrestling. Mm-hmm. They suck and blah, blah, blah. But I've also met quite a few talented women's wrestlers. Yeah. So, like, and I've, you know, been in a match with quite a few... Well, I've been in a match with <laughs> some uh, women's wrestlers, and I've also been able to train with quite a, Ava Everett. Mm. I'm going to tell you guys right now, if nobody yes. knows that name, you will in the next few years. Yeah. That is... Watching, well. watching her grow as just a valet for Anthony Green into actual wrestling, and then yeah. getting better and better. Uh, someone else that... What is it? Uh... LMK, Little, Little Mean Kathleen. Yeah, Little Mean yeah. Kathleen, yeah. Yeah, she's Becca. Oh, that's good. Becca, yeah. So, Becca, uh, I know at the time when I was kind of fi- starting to kind of finish my, my, my stay out there in New England, she was starting to mm-hmm. train. And yep. her and Ava, I mean, Ava was already, I mean, I, I met her on day one. Uh, and it was, it's such a night and day difference from like somebody that, didn't so much have the confidence. Hell, I, at that time, I didn't have that confidence either, right. but she it was, she actually helped me too. She's Her and Anthony Green yep. were just up there, like, amazing people. Davian, uh, too, like, they're great yeah. people. Um, she was always fun to watch. Yeah, I don't know if she's still working anymore, Davian, but, yeah, like... I don't think so. I haven't seen her in a while. Yeah, I think she got, like, really hurt really mm-hmm. bad or something, but, um, yeah, uh, so many talented people. I'm sorry, go on. Uh, what is uh, what is a current video game you're playing, or what is your favorite video game? Ooh. Okay, as of right now, sorry guys, I'm gonna be real generic. I'm playing Call of Duty. I love Call of Duty. It's fun. It's yep. addicting. I don't know why, but I just want to shoot people. Not in real life. All right, don't nobody let's, call the let's cops. Let's not clip that one. No, no, no. Bet you somebody will. Just also clip the fact that I'm saying not in real life because I'm a good boy. All right, chill. Um, but. A game that I oh I love Tekken. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have Tekken Seven. I'm waiting for Tekken Eight. That was uh, that was announced not long ago, but I was like, what? Um, uh, I I'm waiting for a 007 game. Mm-hmm. Um, if anybody's ever heard of Splinter Cell, yes. I, I absolutely love those. I those, I need. God, those were so fun. They were. My brother was just on his computer today. Actually, he was telling me he's like, hey bro, guess what I'm playing? I'm like, what? He's like. Split a cell chaos. And I was like, <laughs> what? You dick? Like, without me? Like, bro, I was mad. Um, but, uh, yeah, I was just jealous, man. Because mm-hmm. th- those are, these are, and I love the Halo series too, at least from back then. Uh, right. I remember at least having fond memories of it, but I also right. remember me getting shot a lot and not really doing that well. So, yeah, yeah. apples and oranges, yep. I guess. Um, I, re- I remember whenever I first got into, like, playing, like, first person shooter games. I was like super excited because I was doing really well in games like Call of Duty and Overwatch and Apex Legends. And I got like so in my branches, I was telling my ex boyfriend, I was like, hey, bet I can kick your ass in CSGO. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jeez. I was wrong. I was going to say, it, it didn't go well, probably. I was, was going to say, it's like wrong. you you just jumped from, you know, basic to hard nightmare <laughs> mode. <laughs> you. No, something bullshitting when. Oh, you know Kyle's bullshitting with that high pitched voice. Oh, of course. oh okay, okay. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, of course. Of course you do. I don't bullshit. <laughs> Everything I say is 100% truthful. 100. 100. <laughs> yeah, he's the voice of the fans, man. Exactly. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, so we're actually re- reaching our wrapping up point because you have a show to get to and everything. Oh my like god, that. I do! Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> thank you very much for joining on this, especially on this you know weird time and everything. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Oh, god, uh, this was so actually cool. I would, You know, wait before we wrap up. 
Bob, this is a really great question, and I would oh. like to hear his, his okay. answer on it. What we got a last minute question. What is the greatest advice you've received in your career? Um, for me, believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. Believe in yourself and have confidence because, right. I mean, obviously, the, the generic, like, train hard, you know, um, book yourself and all that other stuff, right? But Share your prayers, take your vitamins. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to do all that, right? We're, we're not in the 80s. However, no offense. Um, <laughs> however, uh, the biggest thing for me as far as wrestling uh, is believing in yourself because, and I can tell you from experience because I did not believe in myself the way that other people did. And it really hindered my ability to get myself booked and just to have good matches overall because you could see it in myself that I would I would be lost in the match, not like really understanding what's going on, just like, why am I here? Like I had this kind of weird syndrome where I, I didn't feel like I deserved to be there because I, I wasn't confident enough. So like absolutely have confidence in yourself, build it. If you need me to gas you up, anybody, bro, hit me up on the socials and I'm gonna gas you up. Ga call me the gas of gang and don't don't tell the new day because that like it's kind of a rip off of me. Don't, don't tell them all right uh, but no seriously though like if anybody needs like any kind of any gas up just let me know because honestly confidence in yourself is the biggest biggest thing that you need to have in, in anything you do period what whatever kind of work you're in you need to have confidence in yourself yeah. because if you don't believe in yourself nobody else will all right, Adam, we'll get him to, uh, to answer that question on uh, the comments later on. But uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap up here because, like I said, he does have a show to get to. And thank you very much for joining Oh, yeah, sure. Um, all right, so Facebook, follow me on Jet Black. Oh, so, so follow me on Facebook via Jet Black. Uh, Twitter is Jet Black Wrestles. Instagram is Jet Black Wrestle because apparently the S is too long. Um, <laughs> Or maybe that switched. I don't know. Either way, I basically have the same picture. Just follow me either way. All right. So, again, thank you all for tuning yes. in. Make sure you tune in this Thursday because we will have the reincarnation the of excellence. The gas of dope. Yes, sir. <laughs> Kari Wright will be here, and uh, we're looking forward to that. So, yeah, we know that opinion, too. <laughs> So, no, it's this way. That's thanks a lot, time. ladies and <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> KPK fade, Marks. Peace. Mark out. See y'all next week, Thursday, whatever. Yeah, Saturday. I don't like know. That. It's weird sign off.